Hi, it's Aisha, and welcome back to the Curly Curry Corner. Today I'm showing you how I turn recycled tires into space themed tire seats for my class. The idea was inspired from Pinterest. All of the materials that I use are going to be listed below in the description box. Do you want to see the process? Keep watching! Okay, so I am outside and I have started painting the tires. I really wish that I could have um, showed you what they look like before. But anyway, I primed them. So here they are primed. And I also have some other uh, stuff over here. And don't worry about it, it's old foam. It's just discolored, but I cut it out to make the seats. And I'll show you what that looks like. Here is the chair. It is finally done. I sprayed it with gloss paint and I used green. So it's gonna look really good in a little bit. I'll show you what it looks like as far as the seat that's gonna go on top of it. And I really like the way it turned out. So I'm gonna show you, here's the prime first. I'm gonna paint them red and yellow. I'm gonna do two coats. Um, I think I can do it with one can of spray paint, but we'll see what happens when it comes out. All right. Okay, so I am now officially in making tire seat mode. We're on now, I just want to show you this. This is a, a pillow that um, a friend of mine got from Five Below, um, but she was trying to figure out what to do with it, so I took it to go on my stool. And I am going to show you guys. I painted my stool outside, and there it is. I painted it green. I wish I would have taken a picture of it to show you like before, but painted it green. So here is what I'm going to put on top of it. I'm going to Velcro it on top, so in case I need it again. So here are wooden cut out plywood circles. They're a little bit thick, but I think it's going to help with like the sturdiness of the seat. And if I want to take the fabric and exchange the fabric out for whatever. But you guys, I, I got these at Home Depot already cut out um, and sanded. So, I mean, I'm just so excited. And I actually got them for about $5.98. They're 17 um, and 3 quarters inches in diameter. So it was really, really cool because of the tires I'm going to show you because they fit perfectly. I also got this fabric. Ooh, I am so excited about this fabric. Um, I got this fabric from Joann's. I saw it online and I was like, oh, I got to go to Joann's. They only have a little bit left. And then I got it on sale. It was originally $9.99 and I got it for $6.99 and then they had a 20% off coupon. So... You know, I, I'm just I'm just excited about this fabric because it's so awesome. So I'm gonna use this fabric to go on. Okay, so it smells complete completely like spray paint out here, but I did want to show you after the first coat, full first coat. Well, I'll say the first full, full first coat for when I flipped it because I did the bottom where it's actually going to be placed. I did that as a full coat already, like two coats and a gloss. I am in love with the way it turned out. Like I just love the color and I just love the way it looks. I just love the way it's going to look in my classroom. I just love it. So I really don't think it matters the paint because I use cheap paint. Um, because I think what really matters to really bring out the color is a primer. So you have to prime it. I used a gray primer. Um, and I already threw away the can, but I used a gray primer. Um, it's a, I believe it's a Valspar. It was only like $3. $3 and like uh, 98 cents at Lowe's. Um, but it was gray. I think gray or white works the best. Um, and it really didn't come out gray when I brought it out because I think I already showed y'all a picture of that the video but here is the color paint that I use is Valspar Project Perfect it's actually a paint and primer so which is really funny because I primed it and then this has a paint and primer mix but I really want to make sure that the color adhered and came out really pretty so that's why I use another primer as well and here's the color for the red um, and I also made sure that I used a gloss because I didn't want a matte finish. I really wanted it to look glossy. And I had some leftover um, cheap 
acrylic clear coat <laughs> on here and so I'm gonna do two coats of this once I color finish the tire now there's only one coat on the red and I actually really like the one coat on the red I may finish off the can that I have over there but the yellow it just depends like I'm gonna touch up on some areas and see how it works and just see um, the chair is clear coated as well and I just I'm just in love with it y'all I'm just in love with the chair and the colors I mean I'm just in love with it because you know my painted sofa is blue and then I have the green chair and then I have these two tire chairs so I can't wait to show y'all the finished product so there we go okay so the tires are finally done with the coats on clear coat I only finished I, well I finished with just one can of paint pro each and I think the main reason why is because I use primer so if you use a can of primer a can of primer one can of primer will cover both tires and you don't need to like thicken the prime like you just got to cover it uh, to so you can fill in the paint on top so that is the end result I will show you the final one with the seats when I make them and staple the fabric on Hi, and here's the final product. I think my kids are really going to enjoy them. They have been tested and they are pretty comfortable. I teach eighth grade and I believe that these are actually going to be able to hold up and withstand um, any weight that my kids put on them as long as they're just not throwing themselves on them and tearing them up. I think they're going to be great. Again, if you want to see more DIYs, please like the video. Let me know. And thank you so much for watching. See you soon.